So, welcome to problem one of our Trains Crossing Bridges series. A train is 450 meters long. It drives along a train track. Next to the train track, there is a belt of trees lined up with a length of 3 meters between each tree. The first tree starts at the beginning of the train track. The train starts at the very first tree of the line and then finishes at the 100th and, one, and first tree. After all, in all, it took exactly five minutes. At what speed is the train driving at? So first, what are we trying to find? The speed. So in order to find the speed, we need to know the distance. So this is the speed we're trying to find S for speed. And we're gonna be trying to find the, we're trying to find the time. And we are trying to find, we are trying to find the distance uh, divided by the time. So first, where can we get the distance? From our last video, we learned that the distance is equal to the train plus the bridge. So that would be our um, that would be our distance right here that the train is going. Now I'm asking you a question. Do we know um, how long the train is? In fact, we do know that. Right here in the problem it says it's 450 meters long. What about the bridge? Well, I'm not sure what bridges are in here. Like, it doesn't even show up a bridge. Well, do bridges have to be a bridge or can it just be anything? What else besides the train did the problem talk about? It actually talked about a belt of trees. So, but, so first, allow me, this is a tree, okay? So this is the first tree, this is the second tree, all the way until the 100th tree. And, okay, I'm going to move this over a little. All the way until the 100th tree and the 100th uh, and the first tree. Now, in between each of these two trees, there are three meters. Three meters. Okay, um, and right here, three meters. Okay, so really all we have to do is find how long, what is the distance from the first, from the first tree all the way to the 100th and first tree. We're trying to find that. But how can we find it? Well, you can think of this as a number line with different segments on it. Each segment is three meters long. All we're trying to find is how many segments there are and multiply that with three. So if there are, say over here, right, there are three trees. Each of these are a tree. There are two segments. If over here, there are four trees, one, two, three, four, there are three segments. So really, in this case, the number of segments is really 101 minus one. All right, so 101 minus one times three, because each of these are three meters, and this is the number of segments, is equal to 300. All right, so then the length of the bridge is 300. Okay, I'm going to erase this for now. So the length of the bridge is 300. And we've got that down. Now all we have to do is add this with uh, 450, which gets us 750. So that's going to be our distance. Now what is our time? Right here says that it took exactly five minutes. 
we're going to divide 5. Uh, and I'm going to quickly make sure if there is any um, units that has to be uh, changed. Remember, in a lot of this type of problem, it's important to always be sure of the unit because in many problems, uh, they give you two different units that some people might forget to convert although they do all the math right. So that's just something that you shouldn't get wrong on a test. Always be careful with that. So I have meters and seconds. Yep, okay. That's that's okay. So 700 divided by 5, that's 150. So the answer to this problem is 150 meters per second. And I'm going to circle that. Notice how when we solve this problem, uh, we first actually thought about what we were trying to find. And we underlined that. That was the speed. So you wrote down the speed here. And we thought, hmm, how can we... Um, what two other elements do we need in order to find the speed? And we knew that that would be distance and time, of course. Uh, going back to our last video, we learned about that in this type of problem, trains crossing bridges, the distance is equal to the length of the train plus the length of the bridge. Uh, and the bridge was actually the part where we had to visualize and actually think about um, drawing a good kind of diagram that helped us visualize uh, what was going on for the bridge. And actually, it wasn't bridges. It was trees, a belt of trees. So this problem is really just using the formulas we learned, but it's very, very important to um, kind of understand this by drawing a picture. So just take your time, draw it out, think, what am I trying to find? What else do I need in order to find that? And you can solve the problem.